Sweet Baby Ink is losing everything. We love to see it. Hey, what's up, guys? Ruff here. Sweet, so sweet today comma. we're going to talk about the continued yeah. destruction of Sweet Baby <laughs> Would you look at that? Right off the bat. Protect it. 2024 has been a very rough year for this woke consulting firm. Essentially, they got discovered back in February when one of its employees started a harassment campaign against a then very small Steam group called Sweet Baby What a Sweet Baby Inc. We all know how that's... Um... I will uh, wait to see if Ref is gonna explain it or not. The story played out, it had the Streisand effect, it blew up the group, and then people started looking at this Sweet Baby Inc. company and looking at their website and seeing their client list and their agenda and some of the games they've worked on. And as a result, anyone associated with Sweet Baby has had a very rough year. People are rejecting anything they're associated with because people are concerned about what kind of woke DEI garbage is gonna end up in those products if they work with Sweet Baby. This company has essentially become a death mark. Nobody wants to be publicly associated with Sweet Baby. And now- Okay, so he's not really explaining it. Yeah, as then Terry said, it's a consultancy to consult quote unquote game devs on DAI, basically trying to avoid controversies by pushing DEI and Vogue agenda into games. To keep it short. Sweet Baby finds itself in a tough position where they have to re- And they... In one of their presentations... In one of their presentations, they literally said... Try to terrify people if they think... Like, uh, try to terrify people with the thought of how it would look like... If they didn't work with you. And... Another one in his presentation literally had in his PowerPoint that one of his goals is to burn down the gaming industry. Brand in a way that deals with their negative reputation among gamers. And they're doing just that. So essentially, Sweet Baby nukes their own website. But yeah, that title, like always Sweet Baby Inc. That title is so fucking cringe. That was the CEO, Jesus Christ, it's voice than I thought. And recreated it in a way that I believe is trying to continue pushing its woke agenda, but doing it behind the scenes and also doing so while continuing to work with their current clients, but doing so in a very private way. So what happened? Well, if you had an old link to the website and you use it, you're brought to this page. Essentially an mm -hmm. error 404 type message saying this page Wait, did they go does not dark? seem to exist. Did they go now, undercover? They have restructured their website. And as someone who has been on this website a lot of times this year, you know, to do research for videos, I can tell you a lot of changes did occur and I think they are very important to look at. So here oh is the new website. You can see they have the same old hypnotic design that's very strange. Yeah, before, didn't they have like at the top or at the bottom? I'm not entirely sure where. Like all the companies that they worked together with listed before, where Square Enix was on before and then Square Enix was like, hold up, you guys suck and said goodbye to them. And their strange mascot is still there, but there I are guess. some changes. I guess too many companies now we're like, nah, we don't want to work with them anymore. And it would look really bad on them losing so many clients. Beginning with their top section here, the about section where it says, Sweet Baby Inc. is an award-winning team of writers and narrative designers. What who a help voice. Make stories better. With over 30 games shipped from AAA, indie, and what solo developers. We are not just contractors. We are storytellers who can take your project to the next level. So this is very interesting. If you know anything about Sweet Baby, you're probably surprised to see not a single mention of diversity, inclusion, equity, nothing like yeah, that's that. That's interesting. If you looked at this message from their about section, you would just think they're narrative consultants. They're just helping people write better stories. It has nothing to do with DEI. Now, of course, we have some archives of- Oh my God. Are they hiding now that they are like DEI and consultants to like look better to the public oh my god their former website this is their previous about section that says this founded in 2018 sweet baby inc is a narrative development and consultation studio based in montreal and working around the globe our mission is to tell better more empathetic stories while empathetic. And enriching the video games industry we aim to make games more engaging more fun more meaningful and more inclusive 
for everyone. So oh my god, I'm so sick and tired of this. But yeah, that was their previous one. That was their previous one for comparison. What is the eight I? Um, diversity, equality, and oh fucking Christ, integrity. Fucking Christ, I keep forgetting the exact term. Inclusion, sorry, yeah. <laughs> Integrity, my fucking ass. Inclusion. Of course it's inclusion. Equ equity. Equity. Did I say equality? Oops. I don't mean equity. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you see this mention of empathetic stories diversifying and also more inclusion and all of that stuff has been ripped from the current about section. Now there's a That's few small sections underneath this beginning with script writing. So they say, we work within scope to cover all of your script writing needs from cinematics and dialogue to naming 500 pieces of armor. We know every word counts. Again, very generic. Nothing about DEI in this one yeah. either. Here's the next very, section, very generic. consultation. No matter the stage of production, we can strengthen story pitches, world building and character development needs and other narrative design demands. Once again, very generic. Here we have the first one that looks anything like DEI or something you would expect from Sweet Baby. And it's sensitivity. their authenticity and sensitivity section saying, we approach sensitivity by working with your existing narrative and documentation to bring out its natural authenticity and emotional resonance. We okay. don't look for red flags. We highlight green ones. So this is interesting too. So even in a section hmm. where they're talking about authenticity and sensitivity, they're not saying we're going to point to your red flags and make you change things. They're just going to highlight the ones they think are already good, which is a much more passive approach. Which, if that was really what they would be doing, sure. Yeah, sure, but what's the point? <laughs> like, what's the point? Like, huh? They don't need to look for red flags. They are red flags. <laughs> like, generally, what is the point of this then? Like, why, why, uh, so you just, they're basically just saying in this section, you're buying a yay buddy. Like, you're just buying a yes man, like, question mark? What? Which then you would expect from Sweet Baby, at least, you know, from what they're telling you publicly right now. Now, the next section is another one that has changed uh, we did in projects. ways that I, See I think is. are interesting and, and not too impactful but it's worth mentioning so the featured projects it's the games they've worked on you see the classics they've always listed like god of war ragnarok sable mm -hmm. so on and so forth uh they constantly change this list and the only one i think is interesting to see pop back up is suicide squad kill the justice league because they actually removed this for many months leading up until now but it looks like they brought it back onto this public list of their projects and that also why they remove it and then bring it back? Didn't didn't that game hard flop? Wasn't that game hella shit from what I remember? The suicide game? Sorry, me not you. I wonder why Freya is dark skinned in God of War Ragnarok. Um. Oh. 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 It was meh, Sable wasn't that bad, but it wasn't very inspired or interesting either. Alright. So further confirms the lies of a former Rocksteady de a developer who claimed that Sweet Baby had no involvement, which there's been a no, lot okay. of evidence okay, to I prove see. otherwise. And this just further confirms that he was lying yes. through his teeth when he made that statement. Yes, Raya is white-skinned in the myth. Yeah. Statement ...since they brought it back once again. Now, this is the biggest change or lack thereof in a sense, there's nothing after this section. We go right to the outreach and workshops. Now, like I said, I've been on this website many times to research for videos. The next <laughs> section that came was their client list. And I think yep. that was the most important tool for tracking Sweet Baby's involvement. If you see a company like Ubisoft on that list, you're gonna be checking their games to see in the credits and throughout posts on social media if they're involved with Sweet Baby. That client list, is gone and i think that is a very significant thing and a yep. lot of people are sharing some archive versions i think this is the most complete list i've seen because again like the game list uh, some companies Xbox, like square Enix, ea wolf it's so many man it's 
Jesus. X, for example, have removed themselves yeah. from this list over the months. Thank but fuck. this one seems to be the most Man. complete and oldest list. And you can see all the usual suspects, especially those from companies that had a rough 2024 due to their connection with Sweet Baby. You see Ubisoft, Xbox Game Studios. Uh, you see Warner Bros., Square Enix, uh, Wizards of the Coast, Remedy, Glitch, so on and so forth, okay? And this so list, like I said, many. very important. And I think it says a lot that they have removed this list. And what I mean is, I think they're not trying to rebrand. I think they're trying to go underground. Yep. I think they're trying to yep. cool off That's what I think DI too. 100%. Uh, language in their website. They're definitely and they're trying like, to get rid of the client list. Yep. And they're yep, hoping yep, yep, you yep, just yep, yep, forget yep. what their yep. entire agenda has been up until now. 100% that's the what people they're doing. And they have worked with. I think this is something that was probably demanded upon them and also something in their own interest because clients on this list were getting blasted. It's not good to be associated with Sweet Baby and it's also probably hurting the opportunities for Sweet Baby because people don't want to be publicly associated with them. And now yeah. they're hiding this client list and I, I'm really trying to stress that I think they're still working with the majority, if not all of these clients from the original list. I, I don't think... These companies Maybe. are removing themselves because they're separating themselves publicly from Sweet Baby. I would hope they would, though. I think they're doing it because they just don't want that association to be public. And now with the updated website, that section is completely gone. And I think it just serves that underground attempt they're trying to do with their agenda. So the next section is another... I'm so happy that Square Enix removed themselves from this, man. This is ridiculous. Bro, this is, this is so ridiculous. And wait for the future where we have a DEI credit score that is affected and monitored at all times to ensure an inclusive environment for everyone. Yeah! Yay! I can't wait! Oh, future is bleak for Western games. Shani's and Korean are still Gucci. Yep. Yep. True. 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 Everyone that has changed very significantly, and that is the outreach and workshops you can see here it says our experienced team of writers and narrative designers are ready and available to provide workshops talks and general insight to your team let us show you how we dig beneath the narrative surface okay. again super generic language they just sound like a narrative guidance square enix got involved with another consultant group oh for fuck's sake bro <sighs> At one point, these companies have to figure out that by trying to avoid controversies, they're just creating more controversies. Like, it's literally creating more. Like, this is ridiculous. Can't wait for California to sink. Kelly was, um... Uh heat point for all this DAI stuff, right? Like, a lot of uh, DAI shit is being pushed in Cali from what I remember, right? Ooh. Consultation type organization. However, if you look at their old outreach statement here, it's very different. The old website said this, new and marginalized talent can change this industry if given the proper support. We want to provide this through our outreach programs okay. now this language sounds much more like sweet baby and yep. i think it's really important because this is language that mirrors the main message of kim belair their ceo okay there's a lot to say about kim uh she's the one for uh responsible for many infamous quotes yeah. like the one where she yeah. said that you should yeah. go and terrify your bosses that that's the, the one threat of that's the one culture and things like that if they don't work with console you need to terrify them like, <sighs> I'm so happy that gamers and overall the general public, I guess, is getting more and more upset with this. I'm so happy about that. We're getting more and more upset about this shit, man. Speaking of Freya, Kitsu, if you didn't know, there was a mod that remade the face of Angaboda and turned her skin color from black to white to align with mythology. The mod oh, okay. was instantly banned from Nexus cause it was considered offensive. Yeah, the whitewashing same time, am I a right? Mod making Gerald in which a three black is fine. <laughs> they also banned a mod that removes LGBT flags from Spider-Man game for the same reason. 
Meanwhile, the developer removed the flags for the Arabian oh, yeah. country releases of the game himself. Yeah, that one I don't know, that they removed that for the Arabian countries themselves. That one I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, if you're whitewashing, that's wrong. But if you're blackwashing, um, that's fine. Fixing your art and shit, you know? That's fine. Because it's more inclusive, am I right? Sick and tired of this. Sick and tired of the shit, man. Quotation groups like Sweet Baby. But there's another very interesting quote that people have dug up recently. This is a one minute clip that she uh, uses to express kind of the hiring oh process at Sweet Baby. Now what? And it greatly reflects that old. Oh, I don't think uh, I've seen this clip yet. Type thing with their, their, their old message because in this, she will state that clearly to Kim, the most important thing in the hiring process is the color of your skin and your background, <laughs> not your writing skills, which is a big- No way! What? Contradiction to what they're trying to do with the updated website that's all about narrative consultation and improving Sorry, the writing of your story. And in this clip, she's saying the background and experience of the employee is more important than their writing skills because they need to be able to relate and express kind of the, the cultural uh, importance of whatever they're working on. My answer was like, well, what happened to sourcing black writers for something like this? And the answer that was given to me was just like, well, we met some great black writers, but they didn't have the experience. They had all the talent, but not the experience in games. And so what I said was, well, would it be possible if since we have the experience in games, could we take on some some writers as a as, a, as subcontractors? Because essentially, what the client is looking for is authentic and, and representational work, and what these writers are looking for is experience on a job, and that's something I think we can provide. And so we began once we had that kind of extra space and then and those extra contracts to start sharing the the I, I say I say quote unquote wealth because it was you know we were still working on smaller contracts at the time, but we started bringing in folks who deserved a shot at it and who otherwise the studios might not bring in, but Oh my god. Deserved for what? For being unskilled? For being skilled -ift? Deserved because they are a different color? What? I I can't listen to... Oh my... Oh my god. It assumes that the games industry is a meritocracy. It assumes that when you have a marginalized writer coming with a portfolio, what they need is a portfolio review to make sure their portfolio is good. But what happens when we assume instead that it's not a meritocracy? That there are that there is racism, there is sexism, that there is homophobia, there's just transphobia. Just to bring this home once again, it seems very clear that in the hiring process, Kim has always prioritized people's skin color in their background over their Oh my god. How did how did this person ever become a CEO? How how did we get here? This is this is yeah, this is literally racism towards white people in this case. Be like you're not, if you're white, but have experience, no, you're not good enough. You need to be black. So giving noobs a chance for entry positions, but it's excessive to blindly hire based on race. That's, that's what I mean too. That's what I mean too, yeah. Like on one hand, yeah, okay. They want to give like beginners a chance. That's fair. But she's only giving them a chance based on their race, based on their color, based on their ethnicity. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, wow. Do they realize how much divide they create by, all by themselves? No, they don't. They're too caught up in their own fucking bullshit to realize. They're too caught up in their own fucking bullshit actual skills and now that they're trying to rebrand into this narrative consulting firm that doesn't have this blatant secondary agenda 
why would you think that these people are the most qualified? If you're trying to work with Sweet Baby or they're approaching you, wouldn't you be concerned about the qualifications of some of their current employees who are likely hired simply because of the color of their skin and not their- Like, can we stop acting? As if people are actively still being oppressed? Like, when you go, like, there's been so many interviews that when you just go around a fucking um, American neighborhood and you ask, like, any black person there, do you feel oppressed? No. Can we stop acting as if we are still oppressing people? They are fighting a war that they dreamed up and now they cry about because people said no. Yeah. Yeah. The survey showed that 95% of people don't care about this DEI stuff. Good! Good, because it's bullshit! ...abilities. If this company is claiming that they are strictly about helping with the writing process and the story, then why are those values they used to highlight, why would those be so important in that process? But there's some other discoveries to be made here. One last one. Uh, very interesting. If you can see it down here... Uh, yeah. 2024 Sweet Baby Inc. designed by Luda Laika. So okay. Smash JT and his coverage of this related story found a very interesting discovery about this particular studio. So this is kind of their 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 statement generally about their business that they design for feminists and queers, which is a very huh? uh, on par thing huh? for Sweet Baby hiring a. Uh, studio here that only seems to work with feminists what? and queer people. But anyways, you go down here, there's some interesting stuff about this studio. They actually quit Twitter. They closed their official Twitter account. And the reason they did this is because they believe that Elon Musk condemning the use of the term cisgender was Musk's way of dismissing the experiences of trans and gender diverse okay. individuals, okay. implying that being cis is superior... Okay. Okay. And natural. Yep, okay. Seems like somebody that okay. Sweet Baby would work with. But that's <laughs> really does. where we're at with this entire situation. A wow. Wow. It's insulting that these people say you need to make it easier to find jobs because they don't have as good of an education as white people. When if you tell that to a black person, they're actually offended by it being called dumb. Literally, that's what they're doing, though. They don't realize that inherently... By trying to be inclusive and all that shit, they're actually just racist. It's crazy! Toyota recently got rid of their DEI departments and wants to withdraw their support of DEI projects Good. and funds. The media instantly framed it because of hate and oppression. <laughs> An interesting way of saying because DEI does not increase sales in cars, or maybe even does hurt sales if you look at Target or Budweiser. Oh boy, I'm buying a Toyota. <laughs> Honestly, based Toyota though, fucking saying goodbye to DEI. Fuck that. Brand of sorts for Sweet Baby, and I think the objective here is very clear: to tone down the language, try to repair the reputation of Sweet Baby publicly, but in private, continue working on their DEI-related agenda and continue working with these same companies they have been for many years now, and the same companies mm -hmm. that are reeling right now because of their connection to sweet baby so don't think this is the ultimate victory or that sweet baby is you know walking away from dei with its tail between its legs i think this is just a simple new they're strategy going where they're trying to hide everything yeah no they're just, just like going they're underground. hiding on social media everyone including the main account for sweet baby they're just going everyone underground. associated with this company is private they do not want you to have any public engagement with them they're not going to talk to you they don't even want you seeing what they're doing so why would you expect anything to be different so why would you expect anything to be different on their official website? But for yep. now, it's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, feel free to share your Move thoughts about channel. today's topics in the comment section down below. Ridiculous shit, see you guys man. next time. Really ridiculous shit. So much ridiculous shit. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. Bro, DAI needs to stop. And when we tell them that this doesn't help us, they shout, uh, shut us down like they understand like people's problems better than we do. Like, literally, though! Ugh. It, it, I'm so sick and tired of it. 
I'm so sick and tired of, oh, cultural appropriation. I can't use this face paint because some tr uh, tr tribes might get offended by it. Like, what? 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 Like, what? Oh my god, I'm so sick and tired of all of this. But yeah, that will be it. Thanks for watching YouTube or something. I don't know.